We're back at it again with a product review and install for a part that I'm really, really excited for on Project Cream Puff here. Yeah, the problem with the what? In this video, we're installing these guys. These are the Annex Cascam uh, upper strut mount plates. This is something I'm really, really excited for. So before we get deeper into the install and talking about it, I wanna give a little bit of a history lesson as to why I'm so excited about these. Probably about five or six years ago now, I started really delving deep into steering angle modifications for AE86s. I was building my own custom knuckles, my own custom control arms to try and make the most serious angle kit that you could get for an AE86. And then I started really playing with the steering suspension and geometry to try and get things as best as possible, in my opinion, at least, for the AE86. And one of the things that I ran into is that as I increased positive caster to get more self-steer, so the 86 would be even snappier on transition, uh, I ran into an issue with clearance of my fenders and my bumper. So what happens is on an 86, you adjust caster from the bottom of the using the tension rod, that pulls the whole bottom suspension forward. So here you've got your wheel, you've got your control arm and everything, then the tension rod pulls it forward while your strut maintains back like this, right? Here's the front of the vehicle. So what I was finding happening is as I would try and get more than like three and a half degrees of caster, I had to keep trimming my fenders and my bumper to make clearance for the wheel and the tire. And I thought, you know, it'd probably be better if instead of pushing the bottom of the suspension forward to get more positive caster, if you should, if you could push the top of the suspension back. Cast cam or caster camber adjustable plates are really common on a lot of race cars and enthusiast cars, but it's something that's been missing in the A86 market for quite a while. So when I was delving down into this, I even went into like old grainy Japanese catalogs to try and find more suspension tuning components for an A86. And I wanna say that I think that the, the nugget of gold that I found in this whole process was an old Ueo style uh, catalog ad where it showed a caster camber upper strut mount plate for the front. But I could never find anything other than this one little grainy picture that suggested that's what it was. When I heard the Annex was coming out with a set of their own caster camber plates, I actually reached out to, to Grant at Annex and Battle Garage, and I was like, dude, I'm so excited about this. I'd actually talked to a few other companies over the years to see if anybody was going to make something like this, so that way you could get better caster for drifting and could really dial in your steering and suspension geometry without having issues where you're having to cut up bumpers and, and, and trim away on fenders. And I was so excited that Annex decided to come out with these. This is a product that I think that has been ne necessary and needed in the A86 market for a really, really long time. So finally seeing it come to fruition, I'm really excited about it. All right, let's go ahead and, and take a look at the unboxing, show you what it looks like, what it comes with, uh, and all of that. restricted on space as you've seen in some of my other videos I'm in the process of selling my house and normally I do stuff like this out in the driveway but because I'm trying to make keep the house look pretty nice I've got everything stuffed in the garage the install for the left and right is gonna be the exact same uh, so due to, to space constraints I'm just gonna do the video of the right side but you could just copy pasta all the install instructions to go from the right side to the left side no problem we're gonna swap these around with pretty much everything on the car. So to do that, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by undoing the Allen set screws that hold on the damping and adjusting knob. We're gonna pull that guy off. We're gonna zing this nut off. And once we get that kind of situated, we're going to undo these three nuts, drop out the top plate, and then we're gonna put the new top plate in and reassemble. Up. 
R, this is the right side. And looking side by side, there's a couple of things you can see. This is your caster adjustment that these studs can slide, but also look how much camber adjustment there is on this top hat versus the old one. Significantly more camber adjustment available on this. The bottom side looks pretty similar. Uh, just a few small differences, obviously, because of the different, uh, the different mount design for the middle. But for the most part, it's, it's pretty similar on the bottom. One of the nifty things is picking these up and feeling them side by side, feeling how heavy they are. The caster camber plate is actually quite a bit lighter than the standard camber plate. We're going to undo this zip tie here. When we do that, we've got this that's going to drop out of the bottom, so make sure you grab that. That's going to go on top of your strut. Pull the old one out here. Here's the new one. Drop that right on. Now we're going to bring this up from the bottom. And then we're just kind of going to eyeball adjust this a little bit to get it where we want it. This is centered-ish, so I think that's where I want it for now. Now we're going to guide the strut up from the bottom and be ready to put this nut up on top. We just use the impact to snug it up a little bit. Now ideally at this point, to torque this main nut down, you would hold the center shaft of the strut and then use a torque wrench with like a crow foot or something to tighten down this main nut. But I, uh, I don't have that. So I'm gonna do the thing that's not very precise and just zing it down to the impact. Uh, and just be careful, this doesn't need to be like ridiculously tight. It just needs to be, you know, 30 foot pounds. So good enough for me, I think. Now we install the adjusting knob. Done. With it all installed, it's hard to tell. This is a caster adjustable top hat, but man, that looks so good. Let's compare to the other side real quick. And there's the other one. The old style still on here. Gonna swap this out, but yeah. Let's go ahead and get this side on now. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and toss on the driver's side, the left side one, and be done. And there we go, these are all installed. I'm really stoked about these. These really do solve some problems that you get into when you start really trying to dial in an A86. This way you can adjust your caster without having to trim your fender and your bumper. Another thing that's nice is that you've got more camber adjustment. These really are a great product to really improve the ability that you have to dial in your steering suspension geometry. It's a huge improvement. Seriously, shout out to Annex for finally making these for the A86. If you like videos like these on A86 install parts and technical breakdowns and all that kind of stuff, make sure to check out my channel. I've got a bunch of other videos, especially on like bean swap things. Like, comment, subscribe, share all that stuff. Thanks guys. Every bit that you do helps me out immensely, which helps me to make more content that you guys can watch and enjoy.